If you've been following the news lately, you have probably seen a lot of talk about the Artemis launch and NASA's moon missions. The launch was really fun to watch and track as it approached the moon. But if you were following space news, you might also have seen a lot of news about China's space station and the Taikonauts returning to Earth. In my last video about mega projects, I covered a few projects from China's space agency, but I wanted to examine the future projects they have planned because it feels like we are starting a new space race and I couldn't be more excited. So let's jump right into our projects and find out what China is building in space. Number 10 on our list is China's Lunar Space Station. You might have seen a lot of news about China's Earth space station, but you might not know that China is also looking to build a lunar space station. According to CNN, China and Russia have agreed to jointly construct a lunar space station that will be open to all countries. According to the Russian Space Agency's announcement, the lunar space station will be a complex of experimental and research facilities, either on the moon's surface or in its orbit. The facilities will be built for a range of multidisciplinary research, including testing technologies with the possibility of long-term unmanned operations with the prospect of human presence on the moon. The space station will be the first step in China's plan to build a moon base, which brings us to number nine on our list. China is looking to build a lunar base in the 2030s. According to Bloomberg, China plans to build its first space on the moon by 2028, ahead of landing astronauts there in subsequent years as the country steps up its challenge to NASA's dominance in space. This base could be the first of its kind and allow China to conduct experiments on the moon's surface. A moon base would also allow for future deep space missions and a potential launch site for experimental spacecraft that wouldn't need to reach the same escape velocity as Earth. This sounds like something out of a sci-fi story, but it might happen in our lifetime. Speaking of something out of science fiction, number eight on our list is asteroid mining. This is probably one of the oldest tropes in sci-fi. The crew of a mining vessel finds an abandoned ship in an asteroid belt with a mysterious cargo. In 2017, Yi Pai Jin, the chief commander and chief designer of the Chinese Lunar Exploration Program revealed details of a plan that could potentially put an unmanned craft on an asteroid and mine the rocks for metals like palladium, platinum, and others that are used in items such as smartphones and automobiles. Although there isn't a specific mission to mine asteroids on the books, it is definitely in the minds of CNAS workers and for good reason. According to estimates, a single asteroid the size of a football field could contain 25 to 50 billion dollars worth of platinum. Mining asteroids will not only be profitable, it might be necessary for lunar and Mars bases in the future. Speaking of Mars, next up on our list at number seven is China's plan to return Mars samples to Earth. In 2020, China pulled off a complex lunar sample return mission, which returned moon rocks and soil to Earth. This was their first sample return mission and that got a lot of people excited, which means they started to plan the next mission and this time they are looking to return samples from Mars. The Tianwen-3 mission, which is scheduled for 2028, will land on Mars and collect samples. According to Planetary Society, the mission calls for a pair of launches in 2028 that would return a sample to Earth in July 2031. If successful, Tianwei-3 would be the first ever robotic delivery of Mars samples to Earth. Obviously, if this mission is successful, it would give us a better understanding of Mars surface and the potential to sustain life on Mars. Finding out if Mars can sustain life will be an important step forward, especially since number six on our list is China's future Mars missions and possible Mars base. According to Reuters, China aims to send its first crewed mission to Mars in 2033, with regular follow-up flights to follow, under a long-term plan of building a permanently inhabitable base on the Red Planet and extract its resources. Learning what the surface is made up of will help plan China's future manned Mars missions, which should start in about 10 years. With NASA, SpaceX, and now China all planning missions to Mars, it will be exciting to see who touches down first. The next 10 years is going to be really exciting. We have made it halfway through our list, and you know what else is really exciting? It is exciting when you hit that like button and subscribe. All right, moving on to number five on our list, which is China's Jupiter and Uranus mission. According to space.com, China is planning an ambitious two-for-one shot to the outer planets with a pair of spacecrafts to launch for Jupiter and Uranus around 2030. 
The mission will be named Tianwen-4 and will see a large probe destined for Jupiter and a smaller spacecraft to be sent to make a flyby of distant Uranus. The primary spacecraft will be used to study Jupiter's system and will eventually move into orbit around the outermost Galilean moon Callisto for an in-depth study. The smaller spacecraft, which will have a mass on the order of a few hundred kilograms, will make a longer voyage to Uranus. These two spacecrafts will give us a better understanding of both planets and possibly lay the groundwork for future missions. Coming in at number four, empowering all these missions are China's Long March rockets, which are expected to have a major upgrade soon. According to Space News, China plans to make their aging Long March rockets reusable and non-toxic. With the success of companies like SpaceX, it makes a lot of sense to create reusable rockets. China has hundreds of space missions planned for the future and developing reusable and less toxic rockets will not only improve the environment, but also China's ability to launch more missions. Although I couldn't find a timeline for when the new reusable rockets would be rolled out, it is still a step in the right direction and I look forward to seeing them operate in the near future. Next up on our list might remind you of your childhood. China is looking to build an asteroid defense system. If you grew up in the 80s, you might have played the arcade game Asteroids, in which you needed to defend your spacecraft from asteroids. China's plan isn't as fun, but the idea is kind of the same. They are looking to build a defense system that can detect near-Earth asteroids and potential threats. According to Space.com, the China National Space Administration plans to deflect potentially hazardous asteroid 2020 PN1 in a mission now due to launch in 2026. The Kinetic Asteroid Defense mission appears to be similar to NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, that crashed into an asteroid in 2022. China is looking to launch their own impactor with the hope of creating a feasible solution to stopping life-changing asteroid impacts on Earth. Recently, there has been a lot of talk about the James Webb Telescope and the images that it is producing, and I have seen some interesting reports about possible life on other planets. Which brings us to number two on our list. China is looking to launch and operate its first large space telescope called Xuntian. The Xuntian will have an aperture of two meters alongside advanced detectors. It will also be about the size of a city bus and will weigh more than 10 tons according to CGTN. The telescope module's 2.5 billion pixel camera will have a similar resolution to the Hubble but it will have a field of view 300 times larger, which means it will be able to survey roughly 40% of the sky over its roughly 10 years of operation. It will be interesting to see the images it captures over its lifespan. We have made it to number one on our list, and if you've made it this far, you probably like space projects and sci-fi. I often make videos about mega projects and often include space projects, so be sure to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. All right, let's reveal number one on our list. It might not be the most exciting, but it might be the most impactful if successful. China is looking to build a nuclear powered spacecraft. According to the South China Morning Post, China is developing a powerful nuclear reactor for its moon and Mars missions. The reactor can generate one megawatt of electric power, 100 times more powerful than the similar device NASA plans to put on the surface of the moon by 2030. Because this is a classified project, there is little information about it, but according to state media, China is on course to develop nuclear-powered space shuttles by 2040 and will have the ability to mine resources from asteroids and build solar power plants in space soon after. A new spacecraft could change the space race and force other countries to follow suit, which means in the next 20 years we could see a whole new type of space travel. I just hope someone will start working on the Akiberry warp drive soon. These 10 projects are planned for the future and it will be interesting to see if all of them are completed or if plans change over the next few decades. All I can say is I'm excited to see how this plays out. I hope that all nations involved in the Space Race 2.0 remember that space should remain peaceful and research focused. If you're wondering why I didn't add the Chinese space station to this list, it is because I already talked about that in this video here. I also talked about a few other projects and number one on that list would truly change the world. So check out that video and I will see you over there. <laughs> automobiles. <laughs> Welcome to the 17th century. <laughs> Here is your new automobile. <laughs> Number six on our list is China's future Marge, Marge, Marge missions. We're going to Mars. Mars is in the future. Let's do it, Mars. Let's go, Mars.
Hey, Marsh, we're coming for you. Get your marshmallows. Get your marshmallows because we're going to Marsh, Marshland, Marshmallow Land. <laughs>